Secure. Joining me now, Mark Lamont Hill, CNN political commentator Ben Ferguson, CNN political commentator and host of the Ben Ferguson Show. They're here with me in studio. <laughs> it's nice to wow. be here. I know. Doesn't happen very words. every day. So she was well received by the students at Tuskegee, but not everybody is happy about this. I want to play this. This is Rush Limbaugh and then Glenn Beck on their radio programs. Here it is. Michelle Obama is on a roll. She is playing the race card. She's doubling down on it. You were clearly not voted in with just your race. White people in droves went out to vote for you, and you were somehow or another invisible so much that you became the president and first lady of the United States of America. Twice. Tell me about the troubles that you have seen. I mean, it, <laughs> why does the right always get kicked off when it, the first lady or the president talks about race? Because it happens a lot. It's happened well, a whole black. lot. Right, but does it have to, always have to be country. about this? I mean, I think Wait, part of the issue you think he is... talks about it a lot? You think I, the president may say something about I, race a lot? I do think he talks about it a lot. Wow. I think he talks about it a lot. I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing to talk about it some, but it's... Does it always have to come up? And and I think oh, what do you think? Uh, I think sometimes I think sometimes it comes up oh, sometimes more than it lot. needs to because it's trying to push a wedge there, and I don't think it brings people why, together. Why does the right always? Why do they always get that? Oh, <laughs> I think whatever, like. When a white, when a black person mentions race like Beyond one time, me, why? it's like, look, well, see, because they're black. <laughs> I mean, that's why. Thank you. Okay, okay good. good. Take it back because they're black. <laughs> but it's interesting to me because Obama mentions race, and you can name it. Like you, you, I've heard you mention these before. The race speech uh, about Jeremiah Wright, which actually happened before he was president. Ferguson. Yep. Uh, the beer summit. Yep. And, and the beer summit was definitely yeah. a, a bad mark in his career. And, and the Trayvon thing, right? right? So that's three times in six years that he's mentioned race. There have been, let me, there's about 365 days in a year, times six. No, so but we talk no, about no, thousands it's, of it's, days. It's, he done mentioned race three times, it's, and that's he too much, it much more than three times. He done, and did you, you say he that. done mention race? Uh, perhaps. Okay. Perhaps. It, Matt, it, it <laughs> seems to be a point where they want to bring it up as often as it can possibly be applied to a situation. And I think sometimes... When you're the first lady and the president, you have to look at things not just through being race. You're the president to everyone, and everyone voted for them yeah. twice. I think Glenn made an excellent point there. They were elected by an awful lot of people that had nothing to do with race and didn't care that they were African American. But what is the problem with that argument, to me? But, uh, but they won twice it, with millions of people it, voting for them that said, I, I, but, we but don't they, care about race. Well, you didn't, you didn't hear them say they don't care about race. You just I, I, was, I did. A lot of them I talked to said, yeah, but we voted was, for him for the same reasons that we voted perhaps. for Al Gore or for Bill Clinton. I'm not or any other Democrat. All I'm saying is that a lot of people who care about race and still voted for Obama, and I think you can do both. I, you know, I, mean, I know plenty of black people that care about race and voted for Obama. But here's the bigger issue. When Obama talks about immigration, he mentions a Latino uh, identity. When he talks about LGBT issues, he mentions gay and lesbian identity. Uh, when he mentions the elderly, he talks about their age. Yet somehow, when he talks about an issue that's clearly devoted to race or connected to race, somehow we want him to be raceless. That seems unreasonable. And you say every time he has a chance to talk I'm about not, race. I'm not saying raceless. I'm saying that well, I think or, or we're not to, not to mention it. Well, the thing is, is that if you, if you have a particular expert expertise or if you have a, you know something that you are like sure. say we elected a general yeah. we'll talk about military issues if Hillary Clinton is elected we'll talk about foreign affairs <laughs> and, and so they're black why can't this be just a teachable moment for the country and you go okay they're talking about but race I think it's partly it. because some people feel like that she was acting as if there was a, a lot of unfair treatment to her on a regular basis okay and I think the point you is don't think you were was? elected twice there, there are people that said awful things about her not a lot some people, and the point is, you've been, you, you've done pretty well. People have judged you on your merit, not on the color of your skin, at least through two presidential elections, which is very hard to do. And and so and they. You're able, acknowledging that it's hard no, to not I'm, judge I'm people based on the, the color of their skin. I'm saying the fact that they were able to do that well, and then you keep bringing it up. I think the point is, is this doesn't keep bringing. It, it, you've, been you've been race? successful. Yeah, been, but you've been successful, and you've been able to you've been able to transcend okay. race. She keeps doing she it. She is. She is at Tuskegee, which is a black school. It's an historically black 